Flamingos, welcome to our very first episode of Ladies Love Friday. Yay! As you guys saw, I was downstairs opening this beautiful bottle of wine that I was gifted by one of my beautiful flamingos. It's a celebration, guys. So I had to do this particular episode the Mama Flamingo way. Does not necessarily mean I'm gonna be drinking wine every single time i shoot a video um my lingerie is courtesy of gold straps lingerie Tra -la -la. i feel like i look absolutely absolutely amazing as you guys know um so the segment is obviously to touch on topics that you know women send me this is guys i just want to make a disclaimer um this, these are just my thoughts right everything that i will be discussing on the segment are just my thoughts my two cents um please don't come at me <laughs> because i have been getting attacked a lot lately um however i guess it comes with the crown you know what i mean so uh on today's uh, episode of ladies love friday also ladies i feel like we should do this together where you know we wear our lingerie on a friday and just look sexy you know what i mean and just look sexy and just fall in love with ourselves and just gives ourselves reasons to fall in love with ourselves you know what i mean um so we're going to get started huh? guys no listen i'm proud of myself i'm proud of myself i made myself look very pretty for today i'm very proud but <laughs> as a collabo so on today's topic um I wrote some pointers down them because I didn't want to forget anything, right? So today's topic is dating big, no, and not allowing your partner to dim your light, right? Um, 
and you put have a sip and put this down mm. Woo. baby mm. those are grapes those are grapes um okay so the reason why i'm wearing this on top guys is because obviously you know it's youtube i don't want to get flagged because i'm trying to get the shimani you know what i mean and um yeah so have to be you know a little conservative and not too risque um yeah this piece is so cute you guys um obviously like i said um i will well i will do like a full review of the lingerie that i'm wearing and um gold straps lingerie will be posting the reel so if you want to see the piece um the, like the entire piece uh without obviously the gown you can go to at gold straps lingerie on instagram they will be posting simultaneously as me so by the time you guys are done watching this video the post will already be up that side so you guys can see this piece it is absolutely absolutely beautiful the the pink the embroidery everything about it is just stunning so on today's topic guys man hey this is a very touchy topic again guys because like these are things that i've you know struggled with and suffered from in the past no. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, today's topic, ne, it's something that I really struggled with, um, you know, growing up. Um, I mean, it's something that I, I kind of still low-key struggle with, ne, but I've mastered how to not necessarily like hide it or overlook it but i've mastered how to not not let it affect me and who i am as a person right so this is from peaches hills or yeah it's peaches hills right she's like um i really admire you a lot thank you this question may be personal but i have to ask it my question is i'm a beautiful woman but I have weight issues, which have affected many of my past relationships. The guys I date would leave me and give me stupid excuses. Some gave me no excuses at all. Only one told me the truth about losing weight. Now, as a big lady, how have you encountered such, have you encountered rather such issues? And how do you keep your confidence up? Okay, now. Thank you for that, Peaches. So uh, today's topic obviously is surrounding Peaches' um, question, right? Now, I grew up a big girl, ne? I made some pointers because I don't want to forget anything, ne? But let me just give you like a background story. So I grew up a big girl. I come from a family where all my siblings are tiny. My mom growing up was a very skinny lady um you know she looked like a model my sister looked like a model my brother looked like a handsome hunk you know and here i am i'm the youngest in the family number one right and secondly i am the biggest in the family right fine so i've always grown up a big girl with my group of friends oh my gosh i forget it all the time <laughs> hi guys um welcome back so guys uh as come will be the death of my youtube channel guys like it is the ghetto um we got interrupted as i was studying my youtube however thanks to escom now we have a special guest another flamingo a gorgeous gorgeous plus size woman who's also a model and is in the industry a very good friend of mine and a very dear friend of all straps lingerie this is my baby Stu. Stu, you want to introduce yourself hi guys my name is Stu they must hear you Bella. We're going to edit this out. Uh-uh. We're not editing it out. <laughs> we have to edit we it are out. Not. It's okay. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Just project your voice. <laughs> okay. Hi, guys. My name is Studla Rella, and I am one of Yaya's biggest flamingos, biggest supporter, whatever she's doing. She's a girl's then, girl. Period. She's a girl's girl. All right, sis, you. Welcome mm. to our very first. Guys, I feel like this episode is so special because this is like the first segment of Ladies Love Friday right definitely and and today's topic i think is something we can both relate to mm -hmm. right being plus size women mm -hmm. you know in south africa and where's your wine girl because mm, we all need to cheers to this yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. So uh, this being our first segment of um, you know, the channel mm -hmm. and the topics, um, I have here a beautiful plus size woman who sent in um a topic for us to discuss. Okay. Right. Um, you know, I'm a plus size woman. I've been plus size all my life. Same with um, Same with you. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've been through the same struggles. Yes. Right. We've so we've, we've had the same struggles. Mm -hmm. Right. So I think we can both relate to this young lady and um i think our insight so to put it experiences experiences and you know everything that we've been through you know and what we can possibly share with her having gone through these things nah? mm -hmm. um let me just read the the comment okay. that she sent right um okay so this is from like i said earlier on it's from um peaches hills ma'am and peaches hills is like um she's a beautiful girl right i'm a beautiful woman but i have weight issues okay. which affected many of my past relationships the guys i dated would leave me and give me stupid excuses mm -hmm. some gave no excuses at all only one told me the truth about losing weight. Okay. Now, being a big woman, mm -hmm. right, have, well, basically, have we encountered such situations and how do we keep our confidence high, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think we can both discuss this topic because, I mean, we're both in the industry. Definitely. Right? Being in the modeling industry, obviously, your confidence has to be on a hala. Even yes. if you don't feel confident. Even if you don't, because we get criticized all the mm. time. Mm. We get criticized all the time for being big and for being beautiful and for being proud. Definitely. Right? Um, so, I don't know what she's doing now, mm -hmm. but I've always been like a big girl. I was telling Same. them this before you arrived. I grew up a big girl. I come from a family where I'm the only big person in the family. Mm -hmm. All my siblings were like really tiny, right? And my friends, my childhood friends that I grew up with were all skinny. Mm -hmm. I was always the fat friend, right? Yes. And um, pre-teen and early teens and late teens. Varsity. Let's put varsity aside because it's like a switch happens when mm -hmm. boys get to varsity. Yeah, and they then, start liking And then they, now they start ch being, becoming chub chasers. Mm -hmm. Which is fine. We appreciate those. We Hello, love you. you. Right? But before we get there, mm -hmm. right? Leading up to that, when you are... 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. right? I know with my friends, right? With my two very dear friends, right? That I grew up with. They were like the skinny, hot it girls. Mm -hmm. And I was the fat girl, right? Mm -hmm. And I was always the last pick. Mm -hmm. Like boys always picked me last. Like whatever, whoever, like if we were, I remember there was always an incident where if we were going to the mall to watch like movies and, you know, there's three of us and then a group of three boys approaches us. They'll just you know, talk to them. The first, the, the, the hottest guys are going to speak with them. Mm -hmm. And then the loser, and I say that. Not really judging not, them. Yes. But where yes, you were at the, the time. The person and that per, uh, is perceived as the loser of mm. the group. We'll be like, okay, well, I don't have first pick anymore. And the chubby girl is there. No one is talking to the chubby girl. Let me talk to the chubby girl. Do you understand? Like, I was always the girl that was picked last. Yes. Right? And it was like that for me for the longest time. Mm. Right? For the longest time. So, I made point is, um, what is this book? I think you put it on the other side. Eh. Just. <laughs> I'm sitting on it. <laughs> <laughs> with your big flamingo bum <laughs> yeah yeah with my big flamingo bum so i made pointers right about like struggling with your weight in a relationship mm -hmm. right because obviously you know when you are the girl that you feel like you you were the last pick mm -hmm. it kind of like messes with your confidence absolutely right and then you end up petty dating mm -hmm. no matter how beautiful you know you are right mm -hmm. but because of the what way society. society is because of how you're perceived mm -hmm. in society mm -hmm. you know you end up petty dating now yes. because it's like okay well no one else wants me so let me just date whoever wants me do you understand even if but you're then, not attracted to them but then now what happens when you petty date the person right and they still treat you 
last you're the it. last option. Mm. You understand? Because you're not the first option. I've After giving the person the, a chance. A chance. Yeah. I've been... So basically, I feel like majority or 90% of my relationships have been petty dating. Pre now? Well, the one I'm in now... Yeah. That one is like good. Mm. That one is good. I, I want to. It was your choice. It was. It was my choice because and you're I, his first choice. Yes, because and he still chooses you. And he still chooses me till this day. Yeah. How long have you guys been together? Three years. Three years. Okay. Um, is your partner plus size? He was plus size when I met him. Okay, and then he lost. The and then he lost. Okay, it. so he kind of understands the struggles exactly. of the plus size person. Okay. Fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. So okay. with other relationships, I always felt I needed to. I don't know how to exactly put it, but like always show up more, like overcompensate. Overcompensate because I'm a big girl, mm. so I now must do whatever or act in a certain way. Yeah, but I always felt left out, and that mm. really kills your confidence. Mm. Mm. So. To answer her question, I feel like most big girls would relate mm. because in dating, we've all first of all we were told we're not worthy to be dated. Mm. So we we've known from a young age that we are not first like, Choice. choices to mm. learn. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah. So we've I kind of knew that when I was like in grade six, mm. and all my friends were going like to, talking to boys. And, you know, like when you're learning how to kiss and you're like you're little and stuff like that. And they were teaching each other how to kiss. But no, I'm grateful. To teach you. Exactly. I'm grateful mm. I didn't do it because I'm just like, well, I was in grade six. I shouldn't be kissing anybody anyway. Anyways. Kids, do not kiss anybody in grade six. Okay. No Wait until you're 18. Please. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it was just a situation of uh, I felt left out. Mm. And I'm not the cute girl. But surprisingly, when I got into high school, because of, I was the big girl, now my body was developed. So I looked desirable to all the to your seniors. To my seniors. Yeah. Even guys in my school, but it's just because. But then you're from KZN though. Exactly. KZN men like the women meaty. But now my thing is, right? Mm -hmm. um, like this was my struggle. And also, right? I have always liked the cool guy right my first like my first real boyfriend was the rugby the first yes. team rugby captain you know i've always liked the cool sexy tall athletic muscular muscles. athletic do you understand like even the guy that like you know mm. unscrewed screws they were not meant to be unscrewed <laughs> <laughs> you know he was like an athlete mm. you know like he was an athlete he was popular um you know he was representing he was that guy he was that guy yeah mm. like he was he was he was sa schools do you understand mm. like he was that guy he was mr popular mr you popular know? i've always been attracted to the popular guys yes. you understand? but mm, my attraction to the popular hot guy didn't necessarily result always result to me getting the guy mm -hmm. because obviously i'm a big girl yes right and because i'm a big girl when i do get the guy nah, mm -hmm. i always felt like i needed to overcompensate yes i felt like i needed to be nicer mm -hmm. i took on a lot of crap that i shouldn't have because we have to tolerate right? no one else is gonna love us because you feel like that's that. what we Because you feel and you think that mm. no one else is going to accept you and you're just happy to have this guy in yeah. your life. I'm lucky. Like, I'm lucky he's even dating he's me. Even, like, he even looked my way. Mm. You understand? Like, I rem I've always known that I was a pretty girl, right? Mm -hmm. But I've always had that thing of if I could just lose weight, I'd be prettier. I'd be prettier, mm -hmm. you know? And when I'm prettier, I'll get better treatment yes do you understand yes. and i think because of that mentality man because of that mentality we overlook a lot of things yes in relationships mm -hmm. as 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 big women yes yeah we overlook a lot of things in big women uh, uh, um, in relationships as big women and we just allow so much 
to be done to us mm. that a regular person wouldn't allow and Definitely. we also like think that the bare minimum that they do is enough is more than enough mm. it's more than we deserve and it's really just god's blessing to women exactly you understand what i mean and i got to a point right i wasn't always this confident mm -hmm. no none no, no, of us no. were yeah i wasn't always this confident i had to learn confidence yes right and the thing about self-love and it's something that I say all the time. The thing about self-love is that it's a never-ending relationship, mm -hmm. right? You need to wake up and choose to be kind to yourself. Yes. Ma'am, you need to wake up and choose to be kind to yourself. And you need to wake up and choose parts of yourself that you are going to love. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because no one is going to love you the way you love yourself. Nobody. No one is going to do you that favor. You have to love yourself first before someone else comes and loves you. Right, and in order for you to just be able to love another person, and just yes, in order to be able to love another person, mm -hmm. yeah, without resentment, yes, you understand what I mean. But now my thing is, sometimes I feel like I suffer from what we call imposter syndrome. Okay, okay, where I feel like I'm a fraud. Ooh, ne? because the fat girl that's in my head that mm -hmm. I grew up with never really goes away. She doesn't. She doesn't go away. She really, really doesn't go away. I have been trying to lose weight from the age of 10 and that's just as far as i can memory. remember yeah that's just as far as i can remember from the age of 10 i've always 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 tried to lose weight i've i put my body through water diets everything i went on appetite suppressors i went to diet clinics like you understand and there was a time when i would lose rapid weight no? mm. and then I still thought I was fat and I'd pick up the weight and it's like, I'm just this fat girl. And that's just how you feel. And that's just how I feel. Mm. And you know, like I recently went through a weight loss journey mm -hmm. where I dropped like 30 kgs, mm -hmm. right? I still feel like sometimes, sometimes I, I, I feel like I am Yaya from three years ago because the fat girl in your head reminds you that because the fat girl sorry guys <laughs> because the fat girl in your head really never goes away you know she really really never goes away she doesn't she really really doesn't and i have been in situations where you know i feel like my partner is leaving me because i'm fat i'm fat yes and my partner isn't good to me the way that i would like him to be good to me because I'm a big girl. But don't you feel that some relationships have happened that way though? Because I've seen that and I've said that and immediately the next relationship it always has to be a smaller girl and the treatment in which he will give this smaller girl will make me think that I was the problem because if you were not posting me but two minutes later or after we had, where we were in a relationship, you're going to do all the things that I wanted you to do for a small girl. I've had those experiences where my partner didn't do things for me, but he did them in a relationship previously and he did it in the next relationship. So basically I was just a smash and grab kind of situation. I used to think that also, mm -hmm. right? I used to think that I was a smash and grab, mm -hmm. right? Um, also because I'm very liberated sexually. Yes. And I'm very comfortable in my body. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very comfortable with what I like okay. when it comes to the horizontal dance. Okay. You understand what I mean? And at some point, I really did feel like maybe, you know, it was just easier for a person to just get into a big girl's bed mm -hmm. than it would be a skinny girl. Yes. Ne? But now, this is how I know that I'm not a problem. This is how I know I'm not the problem. Number one, none of my exes are married. Oh, <laughs> First of all, mm -hmm. none of my exes are married, number one. And secondly, if I were to go back to at least 90% of those niggas that I dated in the past, mm -hmm. and I'm like, here I am, they would jump at the opportunity to be with they me. They would. They really, really would. Right? Because they know they fumbled the bag. Because they know they fumbled the bag. And it's also because because I was 
overly sweet maybe mm. and overly understanding and overly this and overly that i gave them treatment that they are not getting from other women yes and i know in most cases with men right when they date a woman who is overly this and overly that because we're compensating because of the way that we think mm -hmm. we look right they treat us really badly yes. as, because they think that they're going to find the same treatment elsewhere. Mm. And then they go elsewhere and then mm. they, Cause girls, they hit the wall. Because it's rough in the streets. It's rough. Women it's, it's, are not playing like really rough in the streets. And, and, the, and the, I mean, you know, there will always be a new bunch of 18 year olds. Two kids. Mm. There will always be a bunch of new bunch of new 18 year olds that are willing to date older guys. Yes. However, these kids are going to ravaz you. Period. They're not going... They Like, this new generation, guys, I fear. <laughs> I'm a 2 We are in trouble. <laughs> not we. They are. Not no, us. because when I say we, they are in trouble, but we are also in trouble. How because are we in trouble? I grew up knowing that we have to look to the people who are in front of us. Yeah. In order for me to know what I'm doing. Yeah. So if they are doing their own thing mm. and they are creating their own things, what about our kids? Because those are the people that they're going to be looking up to. That's a topic for another day. Yes. That's a topic for another day. Definitely. However, right? However, um, just to tap on the confidence thing. Ne? Yes. I, I still have certain insecurities right mm -hmm. i still have certain insecurities that i face every day yes no nah. sometimes i feel like i'm too big sometimes i feel like gosh i'm not gonna eat today because i feel like i need to lose 5k 5k kilograms immediately yes do you understand i still go through that i still suffer from insecurities but i think it's also very important to have a mature partner mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as women we need to it's very difficult also, right? Because the heart wants what the heart wants. Exactly. And we like what we like. Mm. Nah? But I think we need to be more selfish with our hearts. Yeah. We need to be more selfish with our hearts. And we need to properly vet the people we allow into our lives. Yes. We need to vet. Because men will never miss an opportunity to be selfish. Never. They leave and you in the morning. Will choose themselves every single time. Ooh. A man. <laughs> you only had one sip. I only had one sip. <laughs> it's too soon. <laughs> As is, it's fine. Oh, hey, please, no, it, it, the glass me. just it don't do that. It just if it was water, <laughs> not expensive wine. Please don't stress me. Clink. <laughs> <Shit. laughs> You know, a man who always, always, always choose an opportunity to be selfish, they will never miss an opportunity to be selfish. And that's where we lack as women. Yes. No? Anyone can be confident. No? Anyone can learn confidence. Yes, they can. Because you learn confidence. You do. And you it doesn't confidence. take one month. No. One day. And you need to con continuously choose to want to be the woman that you want to be. Yes. And you need to continue to choose yourself. Right and your sanity. I think that's also another thing. You need to continue to you need to choose your sanity and protect your sanity. You I think also as big girls we have this fantasy of like not all big girls, but speaking for myself, mm. I've had this fantasy of Prince Charming. Everyone, it's not just big girls. All girls have a Prince Charming he's fantasy. Gonna come and he's gonna sweep me off my and feet. And he will come and sweep you off your feet. It's very be. possible. It is possible. But I feel like we focus on that instead of focusing on, for example, mm -hmm. let's just say, I, okay, I, I know I have self-confidence issues mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, but one thing I will not do is let people see that, that I have self-confidence yeah. issues. Because people leech on that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you're giving them something to now come to you with, like, I've said the worst things to myself. Yeah. So I do not give a... A rat ass <laughs> about a troll <laughs> on Twitter <laughs> saying who mm, or whatever yeah, because I know yeah. I've said the meanest things mm. to myself, mm. you know. So I feel like we also just want to live in this bubble where we just feel like we gotta chase love and we gotta chase men and it's relationships. 
the biggest thing you can do for yourself is loving yourself, getting to know yourself. Mm. Because sometimes we chase a relationship, but we don't really know. You think your favorite color is blue, but you don't really know mm. if it's blue or not. Mm. It's blue today, it's pink tomorrow, mm. it's green the and next day. We, as humans, we evolve. Mm. And I think another thing we need to be careful of, right? When we are allowing these men to feed on insecurities, when vetting these people, mm. right? You need to, like... How can I put this? Guys, you can't be a cherry. Yes. And then tell me I must. No. You must be a Mufasa and tell me I must. Exactly. Do you understand? So we also need to be very like cognizant of the kind of men we allow to put us down yes. and bring us down. Do you understand? Mm. If a man wants to leave, baby, let him leave. Let him go. Because you have so much to offer. Mm. You have so much to offer. If he wants to leave, mama, open the door for him. Because let me tell you something, he's going to come back. He is. He will come back. In the DMs. Guys, go rough. Because I'm trying to... Hey! Bastrata. Bastrata. Keep on the <laughs> no, it's rough. It's rough. No, it's really rough. And there's nothing in the streets, guys. There's nothing in the streets that Absolutely will ever offer nothing. anyone. Do you understand? So if he wants to leave because of the way that you look, first of all, that man is immature. Period. Number one. Do you understand? Because he came to you knowing it. For me, it's like, you're not going to come to me. You can see I'm a big kid. Ne? And you are coming to me unprovoked. No one to, asked to, you to come To in. disturb my peace. Mm. Ne? I let you in. And then next thing you want to part... We want to cut blood circulation. Because that's what men do. They come to you, they rattle your cage, and then when you're all rattled up, they're like, Ay. It's, it's, you're it's, dramatic. I can't. It's too you're much. too much. It's too much now. I can't. You need, need to lose weight. Hey, but didn't you see that I need <gasps> to lose weight when you were approaching me? Oh. Like when you couldn't see that I was a big girl. My ex did Now why, why, why is it shocking you like I gained mm. weight overnight? Like I went to sleep skinny and I woke up a big girl. Do you understand? Yeah. So we need to also just be careful of the kind of men that are telling you these things. Is, is he even worthy to say that? And it'd be the ones all that the don't even go to gym. <laughs> you know when I look at all the guys that have told me I need to do something about myself, I'm looking at them like, excuse me, your mother needs to go back to That's the drawing board. Because you're a disappointment. Because I can always lose the weight. And look, I'm I'm looking fabulous as a big girl. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna look fabulous as, even a, small as a small girl. girl. You will always but have you, an ugly heart. You will always have an ugly heart. Yeah. You will always look ugly. And uh, I don't even know. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and you know, in most cases now, I'm not a okay. Maybe now I am a superficial person, but I scroll up. <laughs> but it always be the ones that you're giving a chance to. But yes. you're like, ah, come make a game zan. You know, it always be those ones and that come. Zama you. And because they have their own insecurities. And another thing about men, men reflect. Yes. Right? And they reflect their insecurities on, on you. you. Which you don't allow that. Don't, don't allow do that. that yeah. You know, majority of the guys I've ever dated, ne? Are aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Mm -hmm. And... It, the ones that are aesthetically pleasing, I have never ever come to me and told me that I need to lose weight. The ones that look never. like they, they fight weights every day, all day. I guess. They have never ever come, like they've never come to me and complain. The only guys that I was with, well, in my past, not even guys actually, the one person that I dated, which was my abusive ex, and that's a topic for another day. Another day. That nigga wasn't even going to gym. He was just a short, fat nigga. Who was insecure mm -hmm. and i gave a chance to because i thought he was a good person yeah I, I i had no business being with that man yeah but i gave him a chance it always be the guys that you are doing the favor chance. or mm. giving a chance that be the ones that try to break you down to their Ooh, level because that's where they are we don't 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 we are not cut Beep. this we're not cutting that thing <laughs> this is a real talk too. no <laughs> this is a real talk Guys, I'm sorry. We're going to beep that. When Are we? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. But, you know, um, just Jay, to wrap up, you know, the whole confidence thing. Mm -hmm. All right. I think it's very important that as women, we are kind to ourselves. Yes. 
because the world is already harsh yep especially to a big woman oh the world is already hard. Look, I'm not saying go buy a full chicken and eat it and stuff your face mm. and not gym and not... No, I advocate a healthy lifestyle. Yes. Yeah, I advocate a healthy, healthy lifestyle, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not promoting an unhealthy lifestyle in any kind of ways because mm. there's a lot of things that we need to consider. We need to consider diabetes, heart disease, cholesterol. Yes. There's a lot. Do you understand? So I will always advocate for women to try and live a better life and take better care of themselves. Oh, because boy. also when you take better care of yourself, you feel better. Yes. You understand? And you are happier with yourself and you are happier with your life's choices. Mm -hmm. Right? However, as a big woman, right society is already telling you there's something wrong with you mm -hmm. and there isn't anything wrong with you right we need to learn to be kinder to ourselves yes even just women to other women to other women mm. because it these insecurities aren't necessarily insecurities that are brought up by men men only, only. No, no 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 women women will poke at those insecurities yes. do you understand and i feel like the world would be so much better if we were if we are to be kinder to one another mm -hmm. and if we are to be kinder to ourselves yes because by the time another person is bringing their negative energy because you've already protected that space yes and you have already created that boundary yes to say mm -mm. not today Satan. Not, not mm -mm. lucifer not today please exit please Please, what's Zonda. that? What's what's that thing? No. Dun 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 dun. What is that? Dun 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 <laughs> dun 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 dun. <laughs> Such a part, my love shall prosper. <laughs> I can they they remix it. They don't they don't really quote it the way it's written in the Bible. Yeah. Mm, they never they always. Remix. Oh, the no weapons formed against. But not the weapons now. No, I get to be dealing with the Lama Triple Six, that other, oh, other gender. Oh, the other. <laughs> <laughs> that other gender, that Triple Six gender. Mm, you know what mm, I'm mm. joking, guys. I'm a lover, not a no, fighter. No. But um, we need, we need, uh, I think as women, we need to protect ourselves. We need to protect our environment. Yes. You know, we need to be able, you need to learn to block the noise. Yes. The negativity you need to be able to block the noise and it's not easy it's, yeah. it's 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 just one of those things where it's it's a learning curve a, and you continuously forever i think mama right what you need to do uh peaches right just when you're brushing your teeth acknowledge one thing mm -hmm. about yourself words of and, affirmation and 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 even like just one thing even if it's just your eyes and just be like, actually, yeah, I've got the most beautiful eyes. Yes. And just remind yourself of that every other moment of, of the, the day. day. Yes. That actually works. Every other moment of the day, mm. right? And maybe put on eyeliner because you're enhancing your beautiful eyes. Yes. And then tomorrow you can be like, actually, I've got a really pretty smile. Pretty I'm going to put on that pink lipstick. And I'm going gonna, and I'm gonna to smile the whole day because I've got a beautiful smile. Period. And actually... It's not too tight. I can wear those leggings. I can yes. wear that. I can wear that skirt. Short skirt. I can wear a crop top. I can style it. And I can look fabulous. And I'm going to look Period. fabulous because yes. that is what I am. I'm a beautiful woman. You said it yourself. You are a beautiful woman. And before any other person can come and acknowledge that beauty, you have to be the one to acknowledge it so that it can be enhanced. Yes. Because people will only see what you show them. Yep. The same with me. Don't settle. I think that's where the problem comes in is when we, we, we settle, but we don't realize we're settling. And stop showing these men your insecurities. Mm. Be insecure alone. If you, you don't have friends to talk to, sisters, write whatever, it down. Write it down. Write journal it, it, it down. down. Write it down. Mm. Vlog. Girl, I don't care what you do. Mm. Don't be telling these men that yeah. you are insecure because, because they will, they will use it against mm. you. They will always use it against you mm -hmm. because that's how they are, unfortunately. Unfortunately. You know, and I, I, those are the creatures we are dealing with. But you know what, I, I can't necessarily fault all men because there are some yes. good men out there. Mm. Guys, I don't want you to think that I am... Hashtag we're bashing men. men no, no, we're not that. I, they are Shout out to my boyfriend. He's the best. Shout out to you, Drake. I love you, sir. <laughs> If you're seeing this, 
Hala Aragon. Hala Aragon. Yeah. There are there are some good men out there. There yes. are some really really good men out there that treat their women like With utmost respect. Ah, uh, hold them up to what? What's this? My brother. So we say lente is a pezule keke and the cherry on top. They they do I'm that. Jenge kanda. Jenge kanda. Egg. They'll treat you and they'll they'll nourish you mm. and they'll and baby let me tell you something. When you meet the guy that is meant for you, he's not gonna care what you look like. No. He's not gonna care whether you're big or not. Like yo guys and I think it's also just so important to date a person that is just mature because what happens when you fall pregnant and you have to go through childbirth <gasps> and they have to see that and they have to see you at your most vulnerable. Oh my god. You still you have know? to go through that? Of course. You understand? It's things that women go through. I forgot about that. People, women go through that, you know. There are a lot of traumas that women go through. Yeah. And that's why I think it's so important to just also when we're choosing and we're waiting, it's so important to choose someone that is emo that has the emotional intelligence yes. of someone close to God. Yeah. Not gonna get there, but just, just almost I'm Jesus. As long yeah. as it's not the average mm. because when you because go for the average you the brain is also below average. <laughs> You're definitely getting below average. Mm. But um yeah, Stu. Thank you for joining our very first Ladies Love Friday segment. Um, I hope you ladies enjoyed our chit chat. And um, please comment below with any questions, um, feedback, anything you felt like I didn't necessarily tapped on. And it's something that you feel like, you know, can help, you know, peaches and other women that go through the same insecurities and the same issues as peaches i would really really appreciate and would love to hear from you don't forget to hit the subscribe button Good. so that you guys can get notifications every time i upload don't forget to share comment tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend tell, a friend. tell your dog if you must to tell your cat Period. to tell your neighbor's parent Everybody must know. Everybody must know. Ladies love Friday. Ladies love Fridays.